we have a big problem here. It's a big problem. We're not getting healthier, we're getting sicker. Alzheimer's has risen from obscurity. It's the sixth leading cause of death or the fourth, depending on how you crunch the numbers. When I was a kid, autism, one out of 10,000 now, it's one out of 69. Arthritis getting worse, type 2 diabetes getting worse, life expectancy getting less. And this in the 21st century, the age of modern medicine, what's going on? And uh, I remember the one, one instructor saying that in the next 20 to 30 years, much of disease would be stamped out because of modern medicine. And I always remember that because now I look out there and nothing is better. It's like all these new diseases, new viruses, or at least they're naming them new names. Right. And you're right. It's like we're all kind of looking around going, what is going on? And this is a problem. We don't have a free medical market, and we have been socialized to believe that the MD knows what's best for us, and, and for goodness sakes, they don't. Your medical doctor may be the nicest person God ever created, but your medical doctor only knows what they've been trained in. And what they've been trained in is one small piece of the medical pie. It's referred to as allopathic reductionism. But they have sold it to us for the last hundred years as the only real type of medicine. And everybody else practices alternative medicine, which is kind of like saying, right, the only <laughs> real dog is a German shepherd and every other dog is an alternative dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, for people who are watching, you know, and for even the studio audience, you're right. We have been so trained that the doctor knows best. Go in, whatever ails you, take a pill, take a shot and it's going to go away and it's almost like we have and we've gone down that path so when someone else comes onto a television show and just starts going bam 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 there's kind of a bit of a a hold back going, whoa, 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 whoa what are you talking about <laughs> so we are here to tell it like it is we're not here to pull any punches and we're just here to set people straight because for goodness sakes your medical doctor may be the nicest person that God ever created, right? But they only know what they've been trained in. And as it turns out, what they have been trained in is really good for surgery when it's necessary, okay. trauma care, right. and a handful of infectious diseases. That's the wheelhouse of the MD. So you would use a medical doctor for those three areas? Thank God for Novocaine. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Thank God for penicillin, the surgical technique, right? I mean, this is not, we're not here to say that MDs are bad and naturopathic no. doctors are right. We're here to say, look. We need them all. We need them all. But, but we have been socialized to believe that the MD owns medicine and everybody else. They're at the top. They're at the top and they know they're the go-to person for all things medical. And they're not. In the United States, the leading cause of death, approximately 760,000 people a year killed by conventional medical treatments. The leading cause of death is MD-directed medical treatments. <laughs> leading cause of bankruptcy, yeah. MD-directed medical treatments. Why is this? Well, what's the most expensive medicine? It's the one that doesn't work. For goodness sakes, if you have you know, a broken leg, heaven forbid, a, bu a bullet in your arm, a third degree burn, pneumonia, the MD is the person to go to. But if you're suffering from asthma, high blood pressure, fibromyalgia, insomnia, heartburn, arthritis, the stuff that most people go to the doctor for most of the time, right. the MD can only offer you therapeutics which are not intended to cure the condition. They're only intended to manage the problem. And this is wrong. It's bad idea. They're, they're the wrong dog for the hunt. We wouldn't let a chiropractor do open heart surgery, would we? No. <laughs> you needed open heart surgery, you wouldn't go to the yeah. chiropractor. Well, if I was the Surgeon General of the world, it would be illegal, illegal, for MDs to practice general medicine because they're horrible at it. And while we have let them do it, while we have given ourselves over to their tutelage, everybody is sick, chronic disease is getting worse, life expectancy is getting shorter. We're going over the cliff into a ditch that's on fire in the middle of a swamp, <laughs> and it's a problem, it's right? It's symptom management, not a cure. Now, inquiring minds want to know, why on earth would we give nearly a trillion dollars, which is what we did, trillion, that's a thousand billion dollars of research money 
to come up with a cure for cancer to the medical profession that does not even know how to cure heartburn. <laughs> Uh, well said. <laughs> because, right, we've been socialized to believe that the MDs own the secret decoder ring to all things medical and everybody else is a back of the bus quack. Everybody gets sick and then you get sick, you're in pain, you're in trouble, you got to go to a medical doctor and they deliver therapies that don't cure it. They manage it. <laughs> and I'm the quack. <laughs> then something breaks. So you go to the only medicine that your insurance pays for, which is allopathic MD-directed medicine. The doctors don't know anything about medical nutrition. They don't believe that the body can cure itself, so they give you a drug that manages the problem. The drug, in its working in the human body, also burns through nutrients. So after six months or a year, the drug stops working, or they need to increase its potency, or they need to give you a second or a third drug and then you get worse and then you need another drug and then it gets worse and then you need surgery and then you get a secondary infection from the surgery and then you need another drug for that and then you die and then your relatives are so grief stricken that they organize a 5k run on your behalf to come up with a cure for stomach cancer and who do they give the money to the people that failed you in the first place this is a problem you'd think that they'd be allowed to go study it for themselves, but a lot of people want someone just to look after them. Have well, you found that? They just, I want to go see my doctor and whatever he says I'm going to do, and they're not going to read for themselves? Or... Yeah, that's correct. And, you know, I mean, let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it. Life is hard, man. Yeah. We got jobs. We got kids. We got mortgages. We got car payments. We got stuff we got to do, man. And, you know, if you're doing, if you're an insurance guy or you're a lawyer or you're a plumber or you're a carpenter or you work on an oil rig in Alberta, you've got a particular skill set and this is what you're good at. This is what you learn. This is what you focus. You don't have time to figure out all this medical stuff. You trust that the doctor knows what's best and this is the problem. <laughs> you know, we live in a world where most of us rely on experts. Right. Life's become complex. I mean, I don't know how to fly a plane, so I trust somebody to take me. I don't know where they're going when I get above the clouds. <laughs> so I'm trusting that pilot to get me at the city I want to get to. And what I'm hearing you say in some of our other uh, programs is that the medical doctors, as far as you're concerned, have kind of dropped the ball at healing people. They're just managing symptoms. And that there is a number of other alternatives out there that are doing an amazing job but I know for myself, um, I don't know what to believe sometimes because when you get on the internet and Google some stuff, you got all these amazing things and then you got people who are completely against it. This person says, they're amazing. This person says, they're a quack. Like, there's so many mixed messages. Well, thank God for science, right? Thank God yes. for education. Thank God for a little bit of regulation, right? We've been led down uh, the goose path in two ways here. We're suffering from two cultural myths. Number one, that the MD owns the secret decoder ring to all things medical and everybody else is a back of the bus quack. It's a lie. And number two, interestingly enough, healing is a complicated, sophisticated process. It can only happen in high-tech, multi-million dollar hospitals. That's not true. Surgery is complicated. And if you, if you had the choice of doing surgery in a multi-million dollar high-tech facility or a mash tent, you're going to want to use the high-tech facility. But healing is easy. Surgery is complicated. Healing is easy. The body knows how to fix itself. You just need to educate yourself about what the body needs, what the body doesn't need. Start to apply it and see for yourself.